On this video, we're going to show you how to install an RV lock on your cargo area. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. So this is probably one of our favorite upgrades we have done ever. You don't have to have keys, it has a fob, or you can just type in the code, and we absolutely have loved this. So now we have decided to install them on our cargo area so that whenever we don't have keys or you don't have to go, we're always fumbling and trying to find the keys to unlock that area when we're setting up. So now. We'll just be able to use the fob or you can key in the code. Now, Bill's going to show you how he is installing this because this, this install here was super easy, nothing special needed. The cargo area is going to be a little more detailed and need a little special tools. On the grand design, they use rivets. So, the only, not difficult at all, you just have to drill out the rivets. Other than that, it's just four screws, it pops out, the other one pops in. So when you drill out the rivets, you just want a drill bit just barely big enough, bigger than the hole. Drill through it, it'll pop loose, push it on through. The RV lock comes with screws that'll go back in this place of these rivets. So. What size bit are you using on yours? About a three thirty seconds. I ain't, I got to look at it. About a three thirty seconds. It looks like you know. Well, what size does that look like to you? About a three thirty seconds. One third. <laughs> One eighth. One eighth. Probably about a three thirty seconds drill bit. I'll let you know though when I when I get it on there, and um, we'll drill those out. And let y'all watch. We'll replace this real quick. Program it. Shouldn't take more than ten minutes. 3.30 seconds. Look at you, you're smart. Yeah, oh, and it's gotta be a steel bit too. I'm telling you, anytime you record anything, it never happens like what you're supposed to. Don't press too hard or you'll go all the way through your... Get the center drilled out, we'll pop those heads off. Good, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Dang, that felt good. I need to be taller or this door needs a little hold open latch right here. <laughs> that could kind of do that maybe. <laughs> hey, that. Video and hold the door. Look, I'm doing two things at once. I can multitask. Push them on through. The way a rivet works, it just bends 
the outside's bent, it bends the inside, so it crimps it on both ends. So once you get that front side off, you just have to push the other side through so it'll go all the way through. Huh, you got the rivets pushed on through. They'll just fall in there wherever. Um, ain't gonna hurt anything. Now we'll put the, unbox a new one, put it in. We'll show you what it looks like, how they got it boxed up. Bob. Three parts. Should be pretty easy. Don't need that, do you? This one works fine. Right. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna take four of the smaller ones. We're gonna attach, where the rivets came out, we're gonna attach this back plate. I am not tall enough for this. Again, I'm gonna have to multitask. We're gonna record and <laughs> be a holder. Oh, that broke, screw just broke off. I'm telling you, when you're recording stuff, it just never works out. I, I don't know why. Is that one gonna break too? I had that other screw head break off on that other thing I was installing. That right there happens. See, like we're doing a, we're doing a what if this happens video now. It was all the way through. It just had a bad head on that screw. Yeah. Luckily, they send you six short screws because you can replace the strike plate down here. So we'll just use one of those screws and go back in there. And this company is really easy. Like for some reason, if that had been an issue, they would have. You could have called them and they would have sent you extra screws. What'd you do? I got the wrong plate on there. It's the old one. Don't put the old plate back on there. You gotta have the new plate. <laughs> we keeping it real. <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> Let's see how many times you can screw a screw in. <laughs> it only takes about 10 minutes. If you don't have to redo what you've done five times. Just so you know, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> I'm not gonna screw these all the way down just yet. Shit. That one break? Yeah. I just barely turned it. Well, good thing we got two screws. <laughs> my arm's now, starting to hurt. <laughs> just so y'all know. <laughs> I did the other side over there before we done this one because we just want to make sure how it went. Didn't have an issue one. <laughs> yeah. It's the video one. <laughs> All right, we're going to push this back up for a second. Oh, oh, dear. Whew, our arm was burning. <laughs> <laughs> Two bad screws in this one, huh? <laughs> Third time is a charm. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's do this this next time. Let's go ahead without the plate on there. Make sure all the screws go in first. <laughs> then we'll put the plate on there and screw it in. <laughs> didn't think I'd have two bad heads on the screw though. Get that up. I don't wanna leave the screw head on the ground. Well, we should have done. We should have got a piece of wood. Oh. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so to hold it up for yourself, <laughs> get you a stick. 
That one's from Helen, Georgia. <laughs> that went in. We know the two outside ones go in now, don't we? Yeah. A little disappointed how easy those heads twist off. I mean, I just... Yeah, that was pretty bad, wasn't it? Now it might be a good idea. Go ahead and chase these in before you put it on there. Just be real careful. So I barely had any pressure on that, and the heads broke off of two of them. All right, you got the right plate. Grab the right plate. <laughs> third time charm. Is it third or fourth? <laughs> I don't I can't know. Keep up, man. Thought this morning some arms were shaky. <laughs> Yeah, we did shoulders, and you had me holding up <laughs> that door. <laughs> oh, I better hurry. Car turning around. I hear a car coming. Oh, he got out. Oh, that's three. <laughs> <laughs> Start grabbing on lock. Oh, don't do that either. Oop, the key fell out. What did you do with the key on the other one? I don't know, it's somewhere. <laughs> All right, you got this control that's gonna go into the battery pack, which the battery pack mounts on the back side of here. So, we just gotta feed this through that hole right there. You gonna show them where that hole is? Oh. You got it? I can lower it. Lower it. I'm going to loosen this up. That's why you don't tighten it all the way up, right? Yeah. I'm going to have to take this bag off to get that on there first. this issue on this other one. <laughs> Told you, it's the video. I'm telling you, how come you never have any problems? Do you want to? I'm going to have to damn take this thing off again. Fourth time then. Oh, that one's, you got already get it. You pretty much got it off there. <laughs> there. There. Is there a reason why you did it the other way to start with, or that's just how you did the other one? I done the other one, it popped on there. All right, we'll so on the next, this time, if you can find a stick to hold up your door, you can hook that up there and then <laughs> put in the inside plate, right? Now that that's in, you could go up. Ooh, Ooh don't. Now, why are you not want to go in there now? So the screw is not going to matter. So I left the other one loose, and it was loose enough that it would pop in there, but this one wouldn't, wouldn't go in there. But it was loose. This is the battery pack for it. We're going to plug that in to here and screw this through here and into here. It is plastic, so I would not over tighten it. Is that a word, tighten it? Tighten, over tighten? Over tighten. Do you want to scoot this back where it's higher for you? I need to get that other key so that way 
because we need to keep that because if something ever happened and it died, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm about to get in there. That one's not caught, did it? Yes. I did it. Do not recommend using a drill to screw these in because you can snap the head or strip them out pretty easy. You saw how easy these broke up there just with a screwdriver screw. Was it, was it locked? Yeah. <laughs> Good thing you knew what the code was, being that the instructions would cut that. That could have been bad if you had instructions. Our instructions are over there, but <laughs> in case I didn't be close. There we are. That's what it looks like. We'll reprogram it real quick to what numbers we want, and um, we'll explain to you how to program it. We're not going to show you what numbers we put in there. Though. Yeah. All right, before you start to program your um, front pad, Make sure you have the button on to on, or it doesn't, doesn't work. <laughs> it's unlocked. We're gonna press the eight button, hold it down, then press a lock. A long beep just happened. Now it's supposed to key in the existing code, which is one, two, three, four, hit the lock button. Now we're supposed to key in our new code, new code, Hit the lock button. Then we're supposed to do it one more time. Hit the lock button again. Should be programmed. All right. Your device will come with a fob. We're just gonna use one fob, hopefully, and program. It's got a one and a two. Program the one is already programmed for our door lock. We're gonna program the two, hopefully, to these locks on here, so we just have one fob controlling both of them. And then if that works, which hopefully it should, we'll take one of the new fobs and just program it the same way so we have a spare. We're gonna program the fob now. Make sure your switch is turned on. There's a little button located right below it. We're gonna press it till it hears a long beep, hopefully. And then we'll press the lock button on the fob it may take three or four times to press it until we hear a beep that's saying it's synced. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> Dang, I got hit the first time. Yep, it works. One dry, man, <laughs> that was easy. So now this is programmed to number two on our fob. Our door is programmed to number one. We just gotta get the other side, program it to number two as well. That way when we hit number two, this door and the other door on the other side will unlock. We hit number one, our door will unlock. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. We showed you some problems that you could have while you're doing it and that way maybe keep you from having that problem. I hope you enjoyed this video. These, th these RV locks are probably one of my favorite upgrades that we have done at all. And I'm gonna do a video on our favorite upgrades, things that we wished we had done in the beginning here coming up soon. But anyway, go check out RV lock. I will put a link in the description below and you can do, uh, you can get 20% off if you put in grand 20 at checkout see if maybe and that's not my code and if it doesn't work i'm sorry but that's just how i've been doing mine is typing grand 20 and i've been getting 20 percent off of ours which is a good percentage off because these are expensive but a hundred percent worth it thank you to all our new subscribers please if you have not subscribed please subscribe please like and i love comments till next time